I say um, I understand because it's a very it's a very big decision moving like far away from home. Um, it's a big decision, but it, if you do enough research and you think that it is a good right for you and you really want to like say because I was I wanted to study medicine and like because I was really passionate about it and I really wanted to do it. If you're that um, passionate and like you're really into it, then I say go for it. I mean, you have the opportunity and the experience is really nice. Like, you don't have this opportunity to meet this many international students. Like, there are so many people from loads of different countries. Like, you don't see that at home. Just don't worry, because I, I worry too much. <laughs> I'd say don't worry. Um, when you come here, you'll kind of get used to it. You'll settle down and get used to um, the, the culture here. Um, if you're from the UK, it's quite similar. So I would say, yeah, just, just don't worry, that's the main thing. Obviously, like, um, you will get a bit nervous because you're coming into a new country and it's just, uh, just different people, you don't know well, how others think. But it's definitely way more comforting to see that there's other people in the same boat as you, same, like, same moment as you, like, they're thinking the same thing, so it's much better. You can relate to them in a way. The tips I would give to future students would be uh, be open-minded, be willing to explore new things, willing to experience new things and meet new people and most importantly willing to learn. I would say don't stress out. Everything will be fine when you just get here. Um, before getting here you will be very nervous but you don't have to be. Just relax, it will be a great time. <laughs> Moving abroad might seem such a big daunting task but um, you know it's not like you're moving somewhere crazy different like a tropical forest or somewhere where the environment changes so much it's you know the environment's more similar than you it's more similar than you would think and the barriers that you think are barriers um, aren't really that significant because everyone else is in the same boat as you. So I'd say make sure that all of the documents and everything that you need and you know that you will take are ready and, and you say and you meet friends and you, you, you know, speak to everyone that's going to leave to different unis um, because you won't see them for quite a while but that's the case with going to uni anyway. Um, I'd also say that yeah just make sure you enjoy your summer um, because you know this is a big start, big new leaf for your life so yeah. I'd probably say don't stress as much as you have because it wasn't worth it because um, everything does work out in the end so I think enjoy the process and the journey. I'd say um, definitely apply earlier don't step into like the region of July August don't step into that maybe apply a bit earlier um, also uh, study in a structural way so like bits every day so like maybe two hours every day or an hour every day and um, always like write down uh, your progress and uh, yeah I mean it should it should go smooth then like I would tell myself like I had no idea I would be here one year ago I was actually doing a Bachelor of Science um, and I decided to you know come here so I would tell myself to be patient and uh, hope for the best I think I would do everything like I have done because I went to the ambulance and worked there for seven months and it helped me really, really, really much. And then I worked in the hospital, so I would do it the same. But I think I would think about going abroad a little bit earlier because it was a really spontaneous <laughs> decision. And, but it was a good decision, I think it's really beautiful here, so. 